Hey there, today I'm going to be briefly talking about everything known about Atomic Mass Games' newest game, Star Wars Shatterpoint. My name is Nate, and welcome to the Gamers Guild. Earlier today, Atomic Mass Games did a surprise announcement that came really out of nowhere. There were no teasers, no hype, just a random announcement that they were about to go live with an announcement. And relatively early in the day for them, and in the middle of the week no less. For those of us watching, we were treated to a one minute trailer for Star Wars Shatterpoint, a new skirmish sized miniatures game based in the Star Wars universe. At this point, we really know next to nothing about the game itself though. Which means that this video has a good bit less info to crunch into than I would really like, but, well, we aren't getting any more info until January apparently, and I'm too hyped to not share what we do know until then, and maybe speculate a little bit. On Atomic Mass Games' website, we have a one-page press announcement that feels like a high schooler who is trying to use as many words as they can while not really knowing anything about the subject, but in this case, it's using a lot of words to get us excited while not giving us any real meat to sink our teeth into as far as mechanics or anything like that. I think the most we can hope to glean from this page really comes from the key features section. Under strategize, it mentions flexible squad building and the ability to create custom strike teams optimized to complete various mission objectives, which sounds very similar to MCP. It also mentions teaming up Ahsoka with bo or Maul with his Loyalist Commandos. But also the opportunity to mix and match our favorite heroes to create custom squads, which also sounds very MCP-ish. So there definitely seems to be a chance that we can mix our heroes and villains. Just as Maul has brief stints where he teams up with Ahsoka in Clone Wars and Rebels, or as Ventress has teamed up with Obi-Wan, it seems that there's a chance that it could happen. But this could also just mean being able to mix and match which characters can be taken with different other squad members. But the fact that there are clone commandos already revealed has my blood pumping because that was easily my favorite first person shooter from my childhood. Anyways, uh, under battle, it mentions characters getting to use special abilities and combat skills to complete evolving mission objectives, which could also be really interesting if, over the course of a game, the missions really do change. But really, that's all there is to gleam from the gameplay side of things for now. As a bit of speculation with how all of the photos shown during the video, it looks like the packs at the very least will be coming with three to four models. They seem to be grouped into predetermined squads. Anakin, Rex, and a couple of 501st members, Obi-Wan, Cody, and a few of the 212th. Grievous has some B2 battle droids. Luminara, meanwhile, comes with a couple of clone commandos and Barriss. Whether that is indicative at all of predetermined squads that they can be filled with, well, we won't know until January at the earliest, it seems, unfortunately. Which leads me to the last thing we do know about Shatterpoint, and that is a very broad timeline of events. Starting in January, we will have more info coming to us in the form of videos and blog posts uh, over from AMG's YouTube, Twitch, and their website. Then in March, at Adepticon, Will Schick, amongst others, will be giving demos of Shatterpoint at the convention. Then finally, we can expect the game to release in June of 2023. Unfortunately, this video doesn't really have any great depth to it, like I mentioned earlier, but hopefully it can help ignite some interest for this game for you if you weren't already on the hype train. And while these first reveals are heavily dedicated to the Clone Wars and that animated series, I'm also very excited by the possibility of what some of the more Imperial releases could look like down the road. So, I will probably be going dark on this game until we have some more real news to talk about, but given the scale of the game and what it looks like, I'm definitely interested in covering more of the game as it comes out. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, keep on gaming.